Ah, oh, where am I? What happened? There was no time for anything else. All I wanted was to get out of that dump pronto. There was no time for anything. There was no time. There was no. That's the way out of. Hey, you out there? Let me out of here, you dirtbags! Come on, who's out there? Hello? Nothing. So, this isn't gonna be easy after all. I started to take in my surroundings and... Bing, bang, boom! I was seeing salvation in every little thing that caught a glint. In my mind, they were already shaping into something that would definitely get these goons' attention. I was gonna do big, loud things with petty stuff. Like a poor country using scraps to send a rocket to the moon. Whoever these bozos are, they left an empty mug for me. Thanks a lot. Hefty storage, though. Pennies to pachyderms, I'll find something to fill it. Whoever tossed me into the clink must have left this here for my amusement. It doesn't have the tubes, in series or otherwise. No way to contact the outside world. Oh, look, it has Jelly Annihilation Epic. Distracted is the last thing I want to be right now. Parish of Starry Knowledge Camp Highlights. So, that's who I'm dealing with, huh? Looks more like a collection of mugshots to me. I don't want any of them around. Ever. That's an odd choice for a detention-type basement. The more I look at it, the more it weirds me out. Nothing there that's any use to me. Judging by its placement, it seems I'm in a basement. Huh, <laughs> rhymes. Not much to see, but boy, does this sickening fishy smell float in from outside. I ain't getting past those bars without some heavy-duty power tools. Discarded food, fish bones, a flotation device, random trash. Useless and furthermore, gross. Nothing there of any utility. For some reason, there are barrels of tar everywhere. No feathers in sight, thankfully. If I wanted any tar, there's plenty spilled on the floor. Warning! This is an ultra-powerful fire extinguisher. You have probably purchased this item because you're either a hardcore forest fire fighting enthusiast, you work at a kerosene factory, or you practice occult rituals involving high temperature immolation. Please make sure your feet are firmly set on the ground and you're ideally leaning against a sturdy wall when you unleash this bad boy. Leave premises immediately if operating grip on extinguisher is lost. You have no chance to regain control of it. Oh, man. Do I really need to read that again? Hmm, extremely powerful, huh? Sounds like a rocket of a time. This once contained soup like the Earth once contained dinosaurs. Made by the good soup conglomerate. I could use this. Oh, isn't that nice? 
Leave a man shoeless, then offer him his slippers. Well, yeah, they do look nice and fluffy and warm, but comfort would just distract me right now. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at home in my robe with a stiff drink, a Maurice Ventricool record, and a searing fear of the telephone. That's a lot of dense, sticky tar. Seems to be a lot of it around. It looks rigid, but not enough that you couldn't pour it. I can't just pick it up with my bare hands. It's a puddle. I think I need something with a little depth. There's a recess in the floorboards here. I'm not wearing any shoes. Might as well watch my step. Nothing in there but dust and more fish smell. Nah, it's no use just by itself. A single shoe, part of a matched pair, lost, alone, makes me sick. We had our differences, that shoe and I. Haven't spoken since the separation. Like Mac Viper says, better to live in two socks than to die in one shoe. I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. Not since the separation. Well, that's unexpected. A pristine right? It might be useful at some point. It's what scientists have lately been calling a plank. Looks very pickable to me. Things are ramping up. Distracted is the last. This plank could make for a nice sloping ramp. No idea how this stayed so clean in this dump, but I'm keeping it. An empty old soup can could maybe use it to stabilize something, given the right setup. The soup can would just roll around in there. I need it to be stable. I think I need something else there first. Cleaning it won't do a damn thing. There's nothing in the mug I could pour into it. Yeah, maybe, but not in my pocket. Hmm, not directly. Nothing there of any utility. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at home in my robe with a stiff tr work. I still need to find a way to angle it just right. Can't do it from the hip. I don't want to stain it with the stuff. Nah, it's no use just by itself. I can't just pick it up with my bare hands. I think I need something else there first.
It's a puddle. I think I need something with a little depth. All right, let's get me some of this tar. They're somehow connected. Maybe not directly. I don't want to tar up this nice, pristine rag. Here we go. Now it's a little shallow pool of dense, extra sticky tar. I think I need something else there first, to get the right angle. Alright, let's stick this in there. What the heck was I concocting here? It felt abstract, ridiculous, absurd even. The foundation of a really far-fetched and scatterbrained solution to my predicament. But this was a pretty ridiculous adventure already, so I guess I was just adapting. And a plank. This was officially ridiculous. Was I feeling proud of myself? A definite and resounding no, but it was all I had. A crude but super stable ramp I fashioned out of garbage, basically. Hey, I'm working with what I have here. Give me a break. Needs a projectile. Look at this. A cringeworthy blue ribbon taker in the crazy enough that it could work regional semifinals. Definitely not a highlight in my career. Assuredly not a low, though. Maybe those late night Mac Viper and Mac and Cheese syndicated binges had some kind of effect on my person. Good old Mac and Cheese. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, I didn't really make calculations. Get a rocket ramp for the win. All right, door. Brace for serious, imminent impact. Prisoner, the boss wants to see you. Come on out here. You have got to be kidding me. Mr. Katype, or should I call you Don? No, you shouldn't. Katype will do just fine. We provided you with some slippers. Did Brother Gleam not assess your shoe size correctly? Now listen here, Buster. Unless I'm in the comfort of my own home, I don't do slippers. You can leave a man pantless, shirtless even. But don't mess with his footwear symmetry, you barbarian. What is this place and who are you anyway? This is about that damned book, isn't it? How deductive. Earning your keep, huh? Come now, don't take it personally, Katype. You were useful in leading us to it for a while, and then you were no more. We never really wanted to hurt you, or your shoes. You're sullen, grumpy, and mean to everyone. We like you. You would have gone far in our organization. Hmm, well, did you find the darn thing? As soon as the kidnapped troops got you out of there, our recon squad was dispatched to retrieve the volume. So you're really convinced you know its exact whereabouts, huh? Close to 100% certain. Ah, speak of the devil. All right, Brother Bright, was our information correct? Yes, Brother Starburst. So it's true. The Necronomicon really was hidden in the library? Kind of. Y yes your starriness. Well, don't just stand there, you fool. Let's see it. Well, we we don't really have it. What? A sigil was gone, broken into tiny little pieces, and something had clearly been hidden in there, but no book in sight. Katype? Everything was intact when I was in there. So don't put it on me, your grand poobah shininess. What about the librarian? It's a funny thing. We ran past each other when we were on our way to collect the tome. He looked so scared. <laughs> well, of course he looked scared. A bomb had just gone off. Anything else? Hmm. I don't think so. <gasps> oh, wait. Yes. He was carrying a big book and didn't seem too happy about it either. Find me this librarian now. What about me? You don't need me anymore. Oh, just... Go back to your little cellar. Now let's be real here for a minute. What good am I to you now, cultist? He's right, Brother Starburst. He just chew into our rations, and he don't know anything either way. Oh, all right, just sacrifice him to the haunter or something. Stop bothering me! Fine with me, boss. 
walk prisoner. Uh, I'm gonna need someone from rites and rituals down here ASAP. I'm about to do an R24-A. Come on, guys. You know the drill. Guys. Guys? Sheen? You out there? Anyone? Come on, you know I can't do Jack until we fill out the SNEF 187. We don't want any trouble with Code Union. We've been through this, people. Is anyone out there? Guys? Prisoners not in sacrificial robes. No ceremonial bucket for the collection. We're really running a shoddy operation here. No wonder EOD's kicking our derriers. I'm embarrassed. The prisoner's embarrassed. This is not looking good, brothers. Sheen? Flair? You guys totally bolted, didn't you? Starburst is not gonna be happy when he hears about this, people. This makes us look really, really bad. I almost feel like apologizing to the would-be victim. Hey, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, it sort of is. It's our collective fault. I share in it. I take my responsibilities seriously. We're not a startup cult anymore. This is unacceptable. Your striving to be a better evil organization is commendable. Aw, thank you. It's nice to know that at least someone here appreciates it. Don't mention it. My dagger arm's falling asleep here, and I'm not even kidding. This guy's liable to die of old age before I get my paperwork. We're not a startup cult any- Sweet dreams, star lover. It's an enticing ladder to some upper level. Hmm. It looks very, very climbable. Well, that's nice. A little extra safety is always appreciated. This rail is really, really greasy. Either they lubricate it, or these star jamooks are some serious sebum seeping slime balls. It goes from floor to ceiling. Something could slide up and down on it without much difficulty. Nope. Looks like a hatch heading to an upper floor. Wonder if it's locked. Looks like a... Damn it, how'd I know it'd be locked? Not a particularly interesting starry cult desk, if you ask me. Not a particularly interest. I'm not into this desk at all. It appears to be dusk outside. It's all about stars with these people for some reason. No way to reach it. Got a serious structural hazard over here. Looks like a healthy crack it might spell its doom. I'm gonna need something to whack it good if I want out this way. I need something stout and hefty and swung like mad. I'd gotten lucky with the fire extinguisher. Must not have triggered it completely. It still had a lot of, huh, fire in it. It was just as hard to control as before. But I had a feeling I could put it to good use one more time. According to its instructions, this here's one feisty redhead. Packs a punch like a mule with a carrot problem. A little color twist to the classic checkered temple floor. That's nice, I guess. 
It's really, really shiny. I'm using it as I speak. A heck of a lot of literature. Most, if not all of it, star-related. Figures. Gotta know them stars, I guess. Not in the mood for star stuff, really. I think I can reach if I leap. Only stars, no stripes. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. Huge, sturdy door. It's barricaded from the outside. Of course it's locked. Of course. Barricaded from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in here, but it seems that they don't think too highly of that gleam guy either. It's a heap of astronomy-related instruments. Wait, there's a piece of wire sticking out from it. It's a very useful-looking piece of wire. Did I mention it looks particularly useful? I think I'd rather just pick it up. Hmm, yeah, but not in my pocket. Brother Gleam is sleeping off a particularly demanding day. He'll make it. Don't worry. Sleep tight, little cultist. Don's watching over you. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. Damn it. Seems like a good idea, using the extinguisher to crack open the hatch. But that idea ain't but a few think ticks away from imagining that can bouncing all over the room at pressure, filling the place with cloud and powder and knocking a Joe's lights all the way out. There's no visible lock to pick on it, so no. I don't see a reason to use this wire on the standard. I was obviously out of my element. That made no sense whatsoever. Cleaning it won't do a damn thing. Right then and there, I thought of placing the fire extinguisher on the desk so as to help steer it and set it loose on the cracked surface of the wall. I could make tracks from this place and never look back. It came to me then that doing so would make a mighty commotion, though, and these starry jamooks would be all over me like a shot. I'd never get to explore whatever it was hiding on the other side of that ladder. No. There I stood, a Joe with one foot in a mystery and the other missing a shoe. They dragged me here against my will, and I wasn't going to leave without first finding out just what the hell they were all about. I had to think of something else. The floor is not lava. I repeat, the floor is not lava. I've got the right idea, but I don't think I should attach it directly to the ladder. All right, made a nice little sliding hook thing halfway there. There we go. One radical red hot ram rocket ready to go. I'm a natural-born handyman.
It's ready, steady, and aimed. Fire! I hope I've done you proud, Mac Viper.